Hello lovely people and welcome to my filming room again with the lovely Stevie Bobby. Hi! We're back for another episode of Sweet Aunt, Spicy Aunt. You're the spicy one. I wonder if one time we should swap and you try to give spicy answers and I try to give sweet answers. Oh, we should definitely do that. I'm not prepared though. Let us know in the comments if you want us to do that. <laughs> I think I would be bad at it. I don't even know what I'd say. I could try. Unclear. <laughs> no, in this series, we give you some advice to questions you've asked over on my Instagram, at Jessica Out of the Closet, and Stevie's Instagram, at Stevie Bobby. I just wanted to make you say it. <laughs> Any of queries that you have about life, we're here for you. We're ready, we're gonna answer. I shall be giving uh, some maybe sweeter, maybe a little gentler advice, potentially. And uh, Stevie's will be more burn everything to the ground. <laughs> Block and delete everyone. Hmm. But before we dive into it, I have a very exciting announcement. Oh, hi. What a delight to see you as I sit here with an important announcement. <gasps> As of this very moment, yes, this very moment, this moment right here, this moment where this video is released, this video, this one, this one, hi! All of my merch in my DFTVA shop is currently on sale at 20% off, and these are lines that will not be restocked. That's the Tilium Malta Iron on Patches, the Some Such Tosh enamel pin, the Crest enamel pin. There are still a few limited edition pride pins, so I've thrown those in there as well. Point is, swoop in now, snap things up, because once they're gone, they're gone. Much like the Because Gay Enamel Pin, it's just gone, completely sold out. So click the Lovely People merch link in the description down below, or check out the product in the merch shelf, if that is something you can see in your country. Ah, <sighs> YouTube. And thank you so much for your purchase and supporting the channel. Do you like spicy like food? I love spicy food. Yeah. What kind of question is that? I wonder which of us can handle how, spicier how food. How would I live with my wife <laughs> if I didn't eat spicy food? Yeah, I feel like there's so many different kinds of spice and sometimes Josie will be freaking out about how spicy something is and I'm like, it's fine. And then sometimes I'll be like, this is way too spicy. And she's like, it's not. Oh. So. No, no, I have a baby who complains if things aren't spicy enough. Like, you know, when people serve you prawn crackers, but they're like the plain prawn crackers. Mm. He does not eat them now because he's like, oh, I feel lied to. Give me the spicy Thai prawn cracker. Sensory seeking, love it. How do you tell your parents no as an adult? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I did see this TikTok that was talking about how if you learn how to gentle parent children, you can do that with your parents. So like when they're um, saying things that are inappropriate or if you just want to say no to them, do gentle parenting tactics to them. So if they're like, I mean, no, you have to let me show up at this time at your place, even though you've told me multiple times that I shouldn't show up at that time. You can be like, I understand you're having big feelings about this right now, but you know, no is no. We have to respect each other's boundaries, that type of thing. I'm hearing a frustration about this situation. Yeah. However, this is a hard no this time and we will have to address this later. Also, you can validate their feelings. You can be like, you know, ex exactly what we both just said. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. gosh. Okay. Huh. Mm. Yeah. So, interesting. Uh, we very much gentle parent our child. Um, he has no issue saying no to us. Mm. So, <laughs> clearly that works out. Yeah. Goodness. Okay. I, I better bring out my gentle parenting handbook mm. and um, see if that works the other way around. It's great in customer service jobs as well, you know, if you have any customer service experience. De-escalation. Next. <laughs> <laughs> How do I flirt? No one seems to realize when I'm into them. Ugh, oh, hard same. This was me for a very long time. All of my dating, all of my dating. And then I met my wife, who also does not realize often when I flirt with her. Although the great thing about her is that you, you can just tell her stuff. Yeah, my tactic is always to accuse them of flirting with you and then see how they react. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah straight out there. Just manipulate them, you know what I mean? <laughs> Be like, are um, you flirting with me? It's even, it's better if like the thing they not, said, not flirting at all. Is that not sort of off-putting for the other person? Yeah. Would, okay, but would they not, if they had been considering maybe flirting with you and then you've just come on a bit like, are you flirting with me? And now they're like, oh wow, what? absolutely not now. Yeah, I think Gosh, if, I think if they I'm like out of pause here. or act kind of uncomfortable, you can just say, oh my God, I'm just kidding. It's totally fine, LOL. Um, and if they go, oh my God, I would never flirt with you. You're not my type. Then you have your answer, you know? 
Okay, but then, but then, what if they paused because they were uncomfortable? But then you just said I was joking. But now they're confused because you then said you, that you then were you joking. Then you do it again. You have to follow it up with accusing them of flirting with you again, like once or twice a day, every time you hang out with them, <laughs> until they say yes. How long does this normally take? Mm. So mm. my my flirting issue is that I'm very openly, effusively, positively kind to everyone mm. around me. Um, so most people tend to think that I am flirting with them all the time, including mm. middle-aged men, um, in situations where I really don't want them to think that I'm flirting with them. It's really quite uncomfortable, actually. But if it's someone I specifically want to think, know that I'm flirting with them, I really have to go quite beyond and quite out there because I call everyone darling. If your issue is that you're just very snuggly, cuddly, kind and a little bit flirty with everyone, if you're a bit of a flirt, let's be honest here, if you're a bit of a flirt with everyone um, and this one person is really catching your eye, then maybe you're actually gonna have to just lay it on a bit thick. You could just straight up say, I am flirting with you. I know this sounds like I'm flirting with you, but that's because I am. <laughs> yeah! Everyone will love that. You really are very gorgeous. All right, we need a gift of that. <laughs> Advice for a relationship that's going from a friendship to more after several years. Take it a little slow, feel it out, because if this is a very deep friendship that you've had for a number of years and it means an awful lot to the two of you and it's starting to slide into somewhere that could be a bit romantic, the worry might be, you know, oh, are we just testing the romantic waters? Mm. Like, what if it actually isn't really romantic? What if this doesn't work out for us? Will we be damaging our friendship? But first of all, just know that lots of, lots of friendships have romantic moments and Mm. You can still be friends and also just because someone becomes your romantic partner doesn't mean that you stop being friends with them. My wife is my best friend. That is in many ways separate to her being my wife and my romantic partner. Like, she is my best friend. She is the funniest person I know. So there's that element. And then there might also be some fear around just the unknown of a new romantic relationship. Yeah, I think the opposite. I think you should go hard, <laughs> fast, <laughs> oh. move in together, talk oh. about mm. kids right now mm. to avoid mm. slipping back into, because you've, you've had a longer amount of time establishing like an emotional baseline for your friendship and what that means. So if you like slowly do it, then you, in my opinion, risk sliding back into friendship. Um, so you should get married right now. Have kids tomorrow. Yeah. That will definitely help the situation. <laughs> Elope. What are some sweet and spicy ways to decorate my disability aids? For example, my walking stick and walker. Cover your walking stick in pearls, and then you can go to um, a place that does um, sprays motorbikes. Mm. Sorry, sometimes I have to act things out. <laughs> sprays it, sprays motorbikes, and you can get them to like decorate your walker in pastel colors, mm. like a pastel rainbow. Love that. I think that'd be really nice. Also, I quite like tassels. Mm, that's just a little bit toe really in the line adorable. of sweet and, and spicy. Though. How is that toeing the line? I feel like tassels are a little bit spicy. It depends firstly on what color your tassels are. Are, secondly, you, are you not talking about nipple placement. tassels? Absolutely not, Stevie. What Bobby. other kind of tassels Reel are? Reel it back in. <laughs> So the spicy way to decorate a walker and a cane, in my opinion, is to add testicles to the cane. Testicles to the cane. <laughs> and um, Sorry, what? The walker, you can like make a giant vulva to put on the front of it so people will see you coming. Okay. Anyway, tell me more about tassels. Yeah. Wait, we have to do this now. I have to make a, a cane with testicles and you have to have one with pearls all over it. That's definitely going on your channel. <laughs> Move that question to my channel. Where can I find queer girls when I don't have time to go clubbing? Oh my gosh, I don't think you need to go clubbing to find queer girls. Depends on where you live. There's so many places. No, no, because if I don't think, right, okay. I think you need to find someone in life who matches with you, right? And if you're not a clubbing person, why go clubbing to meet your person yeah. who matches with you. So you would just be meeting people who go clubbing, but then, then what? Yeah. Then the person that you meet is like, I'm gonna go clubbing, you coming? And you're like, 
no, sorry, that was a one-time thing so I could meet you. I'm never doing it again. Yeah. And you don't match. Whereas if you maybe found some other kind of like daytime queer women's groups to go along to, even if, and God, I remember doing this because obviously <laughs> chronic illness, I'm not great at nighttime stuff. And I know we all have different, we all have different um, times to be awake and looking at you. <laughs> No, for me, just it's not the same. The all disabled people cannot be out at nighttime. That's why disabled spots only <laughs> only allow you to park in the daytime. So me personally, not great after the hours of dark. So I very much was like, let's look around for things that young lesbians want to do in the daytime. And I found like the queer women's walking club. It's a great thing for me. <laughs> Like queer women's cinema club, queer women's lunch club, and every single woman there, other than me, was over the age of 50. I was like, okay, well, I'm, hi friends, hi, hi everyone, hi. But the thing is, you start to meet people and create a network. So yes, maybe not everyone there is going to be your, your date, but they might know someone who knows someone, who knows someone, who knows someone, and then, you meet other people. Because we live in Brighton, which is very gay, very queer, lots and lots of events and clubs and stuff like that. Like, we don't necessarily have to go clubbing because it's not the only thing that there is, but a lot of places, the only, there's no such thing as like a, a queer space that doesn't have alcohol or is a sober space or is a daytime event. Like I would say most of the world does not have events other than gay clubs or gay bars. Um, so that can be a bit tricky. When I have been in places that um, don't really have a lot of queer events, I just get on Tinder and try to make friends that way, put on my profile, looking for friends. In lots of places, um, queer people are friends with each other and they throw their own dinner parties or they go to the cinema in a group or, you know, like the most unrealistic thing about like representation of queer people in media is that there's like a bunch of straight people and they have one gay friend. I've never ever in my life known a gay person <laughs> who is yeah. the only gay person in a friend group. Like, you know, we tend to stick together, so. Um, oh, we did for a while have a gay friend group with our like token straight girl though. Uh, yeah, that, that exists for sure. That does happen. We do have the token straights. Go to your ex's Lesbians. birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Um, we actually had a really, uh, one of our best friends is a girl that uh, Claudia went on a date with once and they really did not hit it off at all on that date. And then we're like, hey bud, should we end this here she was like yeah bud let's let's not do that let's just be pals mm. <laughs> and they were like yeah and now they're really good friends we're really good friends we're great friends with her partner and we're all part of a bigger group yeah so you can go on a tinder built. date with someone you know that you might not necessarily end up with or be interested in just so that you can score an invite and someone playing matchmaker later on yeah don't don't swipe away from someone I actually don't know which way you swap, but don't swipe <laughs> away from someone because you're like, they're too much like me. No, no, maybe you should click on. Mm. Is that how click on? I don't know. <laughs> Super like. I've been married a while, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't tell you if it's swipe left or right, I don't remember. But also oh <laughs> I get confused because sometimes people think this means swipe, swipe left. Some people think this means swipe left. I don't know which one I think. I think this is swipe left. If you're looking at the phone, because I'm trying to get to the page that's left of it. So if I drag the page that way, I'm swiping left. But a lot of people think that it's swiping right. Yeah. So I never know which one it is. I get them confused. Anyway, thank you so much for this education and swiping left and right. Brilliant. We'll come back to you on that one. As always, it's been a pleasure to have you, Steve. <laughs> thank you. I really look forward to decorating canes and walkers with you in oh a God. future video on your channel. Definitely. It's going to be an experience. Um, however, you can right now hop over to Stevie's channel via a link in the description for the second part of our Sweet Aunt Spicy Aunt today, uh, where we'll be answering more of your questions and hopefully learning more about 
not tinder swiping left and right because we apparently don't have that down yet which is left and which is right who knows but stevie where else can people find you on the internet well you can also click on the playlist to watch all of the episodes that we've ever made of sweet aunt spicy aunt um but i'm also on tiktok and instagram and twitter and youtube it's either stevie or stevie bobby and you can find those linked in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget that everything in my merch store is from today 20% off and everything will indeed be gone very soon because it is indeed closing. And happy International Women's Day! To those who celebrate. <laughs> Wait, do we not all celebrate International Women's Day? Oh yeah, Day? we're not a woman! I think you can still celebrate Oh, right, yeah. International Women's Day. You're just celebrating women. Maybe. How do you celebrate International Women's Day? Tradition that you do? Like, apparently, I clap. No, I. Like I, maybe I, making a vulva walker. Or one with testicles. You know, women have all different genitals. Actually, one thing I like to do is share in my stories female creators who oh, I think cute. are really great. I love that. That's one of the things I like to do. Um, but I also just like to send text messages to women that I like. I love that. That's a great tradition. Text yeah. some women that you like. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.